my name is Sandra Beck, and I'm the president of the Northern Arizona Watercolor Society, otherwise known as NAWS. And we will be soon having our annual fall exhibition, um, which is usually experimental in nature. We have two shows a year. The spring show is traditional watercolor, and the fall show is now uh, more experimental in nature for those members who like to go beyond the traditional. Um, hi, my name is Treya, and um, I have an interesting experiment going on for myself here. This was a painting that was once completed, I completed maybe a year or so ago in through here. And soon after I painted it, a puppy came along and did this to it, licking the color off of the page. And so honoring the, the, the puppy's wishes, what I'm doing is, is uh, I'm taking that energy from what the puppy created and I'm adding to it to see if not to return it to this, but to bring it into something even further. NAWS is unique in that uh, it's kind of made up of a, a lot of retired people that are, are here in Sedona, and of course Sedona is a wonderful retirement place, and the people that are retired are quite successful, and uh, uh, they're interested in art. So when you join, you're not really joining for a competition or anything, it's just a, a camaraderie and a lot of uh, people that have similar backgrounds. What makes this experimental for me is that it's acrylic on board and I'd uh, been practicing with acrylic on board but on really small pieces so I wanted to see what it was like to do something large and I also made her face the figure itself is bigger than life which is not something that you're really supposed to do for with a portrait and I wanted to try and see if I could make that work and the whole time I was working on it which was about a month I had no idea if it was really going to work. Uh, my name is Kathy Stedman. This is the piece I uh, entered in the experimental show for NAWS. Um, its title is The Setting Sun. and. Um, it was all about accidents and things that happened um, spontaneously. Uh, there's a, um, maybe hard to see in camera, but there's a lot of texturizing going on and, and really that happened because of the paper I used. And it was an unusual piece and I didn't realize that that would happen when I used it. And I poured a lot of orange and blue Pouring means I didn't really use a brush very much. I just kind of poured the, the paint on and let it mingle. Put a lot more um, pencil work in it, so it's got all the shading going on in it. It looked so pretty sitting there, but it was just plain old beat up terracotta, and I decided to really emphasize it and in order to do that in this particular painting, what I did is I did some mass of paper around the, for the flowers that went around the, court, uh, the vase, and then the vase itself I decided to gild. And using some pen, I really 
thought that that would add a little bit of interest and drama to the painting itself and to really just give you the contrast that a painting like this would need and to show, as I said, a very overgrown courtyard and to try and show the massive amounts of uh, floral and leaves that were going on at the time. Um, I'm Kathy Gazda. This is the uh, piece I did for the Nas experimental show. It's called Awakening. It's um, a lenticular piece, which means you can see it from two different uh, sides. And I have done a couple of other uh, lenticular pieces before. I like to, well, some of my work um, really asks the viewer to participate in it. And um, this, is, this is in that category where you actually have to change your position in order to uh, get the full effect of the piece. Um, this, the experimental part for me this time, because each time I've done a lenticular piece, it's, I've created them differently. Uh, this I did a diptych, two different canvases for the clouds, and then the, um, the main part of the lenticular piece is actually two separate paintings. I'm Wayne St. John. This is uh, my entry for our experimental show. I was watching TV, Fox News, and in the background they had a, a whole bunch of presidents' paintings, and they were all Republicans, and I happened to be uh, a, a Democrat. So I thought uh, I would do a Democrat, and so I I found the official photo for Barack Obama and I, I painted him and and since it's experimental I decided I, I had to you know do some a little embellishing so I put some grout on his face to give him a little 3D dimension and then I put some crackle paint on and the nature of crackle paint is you use a dark color and then on, you put the crackle on and then something that's lighter and so his suit went from black suit to blue, and uh, his hair turned blue too. And uh, that's the reason, so I called him Barack in Blue. My name is Scotty Ruhlman, and this is my piece for In the Experimental Show. Um, the name of it is Underwater Seascape. Um, I, it was a, a really unusual method for me to, to work with. Um, I took uh, two pieces of uh, watercolor paper and uh, put one on the ground and, and hung one over a line and wet it and put colored ink on it, acrylic ink on it, and let it drip down onto this one. And so it dripped in it, and as it dripped down, the wet uh, made different wrinkles and folds and, and, and basins in the, in the paper, and uh, then the color went into it. My name is Ro Cornetto, and I was a realistic painter, still am, for quite some time, for about 30 years. I started with oil and then went into watercolor and acrylics. Um, the, um, I didn't bring my experimental painting today, but uh, I kind of whipped this little thing up this morning with, for about, in about a half hour, and it was just, uh, I'll add some more paper decorations to it. 
Anyway, uh, I like the experimental part of, the, of this art, um, mainly because you go beyond your, your limits, and um, you can add so many things to it that um, it feels like uh, you're out of your body at some point, and it's ju it just shows your, your inner feelings. So, so um, turn that, hold that up if you would. Okay. My name's Kathy Gazda. Um, this piece that I'm holding is uh, my uh, painting for today. And um, since the beginning of March, I've been doing a painting a day as an exercise um, in the hopes of uh, improving, um, you know, becoming a better artist, a better painter. Um, so because of the full moon, the blue moon today, um, this is my, my choice of subject matter for today. Mm -hmm. 